Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a bit different. We started off going to this library ginormous book sale. We got a lot of fun stuff here, but it was really hard to film. There were a ton of people, so stick around to the end of the video to see what we picked up. We got some really fun scores. We'll show you some of the footage, but definitely stick around. And after this footage with the books, we have some pretty big news that we're going to share with you guys that we were really excited for and we hope you'll find exciting too. So stick around for that and enjoy today's video. We found a um, board game? Yeah. Oh wow, look at that, ghost party. Yeah, isn't that cool? Ravensburger, wow. Oh, look at this, cute. Sign. Oh, wow. wow. That's awesome. I love that board game though. That's so fun. Ghost party. That's cool. The penny was the penny. Oh wait, I left that one behind. I want to get it. Janine likes to be like one of the like original Magic School bus with with the dust jacket. You never find it with the dust jacket. You never no. find hardcovers covers either. No. At least I never do. What year is it from? It is uh, 1990, I believe. Wow. Yeah. That's a fun, fun find. First classic printing. Wow. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Get that. Wow. That's in good condition too. Yeah. A whole section, Janine. Where? Where? I spies. Look at them all. All of these are I spies. <gasps> She's a happy girl. Wow. <gasps> Spooky night. Fun house. Extreme challenger. I think they're all different too. Most I've ever seen at one spot. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. This whole box is like search and find. Look, there's Boys Waldo. Oh, here's another one. Another spooky night. Wow. The best one. And the others are. Oh, there's another one. I Spy Super Challenger. Oh, wow. There's so many. Wow. You should look through them. We're going to look through them, and Janine may have to pick up some. How are we feeling? It's the day we've been waiting for. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling my eye is twitching. My <laughs> eye is twitching right now. <laughs> I'm twitching with excitement. I, I don't know. What do you feel? How do you feel? Um, I'm feeling excited. I'm just glad that it's back. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. And, and if I we didn't say, ugh, let's just rewind a second. Today I am at Unique in Watchtown, New Jersey. This is one of our favorite locations to go to. And Laura and I found out last night that they have lost their lease and everything in the store is 50% off. And I guess the store is closing down. I'm so, so sad that we will not have this location to go to anymore. Um, yeah, I, I just love I'm this I'm just store. happy we have another location back. Even if it's like a wash and there's not a ton of stuff, it's exciting. I don't know. I'm not getting my hopes up too much. But... I don't remember the last time I've ever been into a new, like, uh, unique to us, you know? Yeah. And this is like a new unique in general. Yeah, so it's, it's exciting. It's going to be fun to go and explore. It is. And it's basically replacing the one that closed. It's like right down the street. So it's like basically the same location. But who knows? Oh my gosh. Let's go in, I guess, right? Yeah, let's go. Never thought this was going to happen. We really thought that um they were closing down for good. So it's been like a year. I don't know. Let's go in. Hi guys, here we are. The new location. We don't really, we've never been in here. So it looks like hard goods are in the back. We're going to head in and see what they have. This seems like a smaller uh, hard goods section than their previous location. But um, we're not complaining. We're not complaining. This is sort of their like um, appliances and such. It looks like. Yeah, Jean's saying yes. Got the toy section. Um, I think it's only this two-sided aisle. And the music here is really loud, so I'm going to try to talk pretty loud. Um, but it's pretty much the same setup as all the other locations, it seems like. But, um, Porky Pig here, Janine. Is that Porky Pig? Is that his name? What? Porky Pig? Okay, I can't see where it is. Oh, yeah. yeah right. And I think so. And little baby uh, Mickey for $2. All right, and some dinosaurs over there, but I think those are new. Is 
Some Smurfs, newer Smurfs. Easter Unlimited Bendy Easter Bunnies from like the 90s. Oh yeah, this look at that. This really big, this guy? He, it is quite big in your hands. <laughs> it's like a foot tall or something. $3 for the two bunnies. Cool. They're older. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Little characters are $6 each though. A little pricey if you ask me, but they might even be like, um, missing his hat. I don't know if they were like, um, it's just toys. Not, I was thinking like maybe Burger King or McDonald's, but I think they're a little too, uh, fancy to have been that. Yeah, no. But this one, or this location, seems like the uh, aisles are really short. Not very long, so not as much, uh, shelf space, really. I guess out there is, uh, more hard goods. Like all yep, we have a whole row of hard goods. That sort of takes up the whole length of the back here. Hmm. Little uh, holiday section here, huh? Little bit of Christmas. Little cute. reproduction snowman mm -hmm. mug. That is cute. Maybe from Three dollars. No, he's cute. He's cute, but... We've got a little bit of Christmas here and a tiny smidge of Halloween. And by tiny smidge, just oh, a single jack-o'-lantern. Oh, sure. Joanna Parker. Six dollars, that's not bad. This guy's six dollars too. Um, hmm. That's sort of fun, that bowl. And, oh, no, no. Different. He's cute, isn't he? Yeah, it? he is fun. He's six dollars. He's different. I've never really yeah. seen him before. He looks puffy. 1988, probably. Yep. Wow. He's sort of cute. Yeah. Not bad for five ninety nine either. No, and he has all his little things in him too. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Also this, which is sort of cute. <laughs> They're sort of cute. Little trick or treat. Ninety nine cents. Looks like it was at a Goodwill. Oh, <laughs> Goodwill sticker maybe? Goodwill sticker. Interesting. 2014. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's that's interesting. I wonder how it ended up here. He's cute. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. Okay. <laughs> Little chick? Yeah. Oh, it's cute. Isn't it? Yeah, he's older. Yeah, he's made cute. in Korea. Oh. Six dollars for the bag. Wow the store is clothing and there's a lot of it so I think this is mainly a clothing unique not a lot of hard goods so not sure how we're feeling right now <laughs> so what do you think it seemed a little empty so maybe people have bought this place you know bought it out um I would give it like a two out of ten currently like there was absolutely nothing um but that could just be because it's like the first week or so that they're starting up you know Mm -hmm. We'll definitely come back for the holidays. I feel like. I'm excited to have another thrift location. Yeah. Close by. So I'm excited about that. But today there wasn't anything for us. No. So. I'm hopeful that it'll pick up a little bit. You know, they're just mm -hmm. starting off. Hopefully they get more donations and more stock. And uh, like Janine said, another location. We're not going to complain. The only thing I'm like a little fearful of is that it's like 75% clothing. As far as like the space in the store. But never know. You know, we found some amazing things at small, unique locations mm -hmm. um, at every location. So I'm excited that we have our spot back here. Yeah. And it's going to be fun to come back in the summer when they start stocking for Halloween. Mm -hmm. We will be here for sure. Um, but yeah, that's the big news for the day. After finding absolutely nothing in the new unique, we made our way back down the street to our old location that we always go to in hopes of finding some vintage goodies. So that's what you're seeing right here in this footage. This is snowman. Is this Lennox? $10. Oh, it is Lennox. Hmm. He's got little blue eyes. And I don't know if it's on sale. I don't think it is. It's blue. Oh, wait, is it? No, it's blue, green, pink. So he's full price. There are some Raggedy Ann and Andy prints, I guess, for $15. I don't know who's buying this for $15, but it's not me. Them. This is interesting. This is like the um, sort of like a spooky tree candle holder. Spooky tree for Halloween. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Two dollars. I like it. Maybe from like the 80s or 90s. Mm -hmm. It's sort of fun. We are at the plush and there's Shanine. I don't think she's found any plush. 
Otherwise, she'd be holding some. No plush? I just got here. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oops. Anastasia train set. Yeah. $10. I don't know if that's worth $10, but pretty cool to see. Mm -hmm. Is it like, um... It's from 97. Oh, oh it's like set. a whole set and such. Mm -hmm. 97. I I've loved Anastasia. No, I wonder if this was like a Burger King thing or something like that. Maybe you got it when you bought the VHS tape. Oh, maybe. Yeah. That's cool. What do you wow. have there? What um, is that? Um, a bag of dinosaurs. A bag of dinosaurs. A bag of, a bag of little dinosaurs. Tons of little dinosaurs. Tons of little dinosaurs. Are they older little dinosaurs? No, they, look, they look pretty modern to me. More modern, tiny little dinosaurs? Yeah. I'm not going to get them. I'm going to leave them. She's going to leave them behind. But I see another bag immediately. And then... And then some horses over there, but these are dinosaurs. Yeah. Are those older? Well, this one might be. That looks it. Yeah, that little like uh, but yeah, I, blue it, turquoise one. 2005. 2005 uh, 2009. Not quite what we're looking for. Uh, this one's 2000. All right, so that one's 24 years old. It's a 24 year old dinosaur, so. Mm. What? Yet another bag of dinosaurs. More dinos. These all um, are pretty new more newer dinos yeah um, all right all right wow look at this two action stamps eight dollars in the original packaging that is so cool from 97. from 97. wow oh look at reptars little reptar stamp amazing in the original packaging spotted these really nice knives they are um lucite handled sort of Three of them are, are similar. The other, one of them is different, but they are three dollars for all of them. They're nice green. The bag was open though. Huh. Obviously, the highlight of today is that the unique in Washington, New Jersey. I know people outside of New Jersey are like, "What's Washington?" It's a town. It's where we had our one unique location that we used to go to all the time. Um, and they closed last year. They lost their lease. They said they were going to come back. April of that year, so only a few months later, but it's been a whole year without it. But we found out that they are back, and so we went, and it was okay. It wasn't that great, but we're really, really hopeful, and I think that they'll sort of ramp up and start to bring more stock in. So it's a new, unique location, a new thrift store location for Shine Bright Doggo, for you guys, and um, we're hopeful that they're going to have more in the coming months. But for today, we did go to this book sale in the beginning of the video. It was really hard to film there. There were a ton of people. It was held at a local library and they just had rooms and rooms full of books. And we did grab some really fun ones that we're gonna show you guys. We picked up so many I Spy books and there were so many there. We have I Spy Super Challenger, I Spy Treasure Hunt, I Spy Year Round Challenger, I have I Spy Fantasy, I Spy Christmas, and then last but not least, we have three I Spy Spooky Night Nice. Books. These are so nostalgic to us. I personally love them. I love looking through them and collecting them as well. So I'm going to see how many of these we have in the collection, if there's any we want to swap out. Um, otherwise, they will be for sale uh, during an upcoming book sale, which we haven't scheduled yet but we are definitely going to have over on whatnot. Janine, dinosaur books? Yeah, we picked up three dinosaur books. These are really cute and I can't look at them too much. Otherwise I'm gonna wanna keep them, but we might have these for sale or for decorative purposes during our whatnot dinosaur waffle party. Look how cute this is. I love the drawings in this. This is from 1988. This is a cute little book. This is the fourth printing from 1991. Wow. So a cute little dinosaur book. We also found this one, which is Now I Know Story of Dinosaurs. This is also an older dinosaur book. Love the illustrations in these dinosaur books or older books in general. And this one's from 1982 and tells the story of the dinosaurs. So really cool, fun love the covers of these they just look really nice displayed we also found this really fun dinosaur book as well the eyes move so if you lift it it kind of like moves gets all wobbly but if you lay it down flat the eyes stay upright this is from 1998 and it just has these fun dinosaur pictures 
Look at that. That's so, so fun. funny. And it seems like it's like a counting number themed book. So very fun. That'll be fun to decorate for our dino waffle party. What not dino waffle party um, <laughs> over on whatnot. So I think that's scheduled for March 28th. If you're interested in that, we're going to make dinosaur waffles and have a big fun dinosaur time. <laughs> yeah, we'll um, stream it onto YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. But if we might have some things for purchase. Mm -hmm. And if you want to purchase, you have to do that through whatnot. So if you want to check out whatnot ahead of the sale, mm -hmm. you can click on the link in the description of this video. But yep. we'll also try to stream it to YouTube as well. Yes. And Janine is going to make us all waffles. So <laughs> it's going to be fun. I don't know if you caught this on camera, Laura, but you found this really fun book. It's called Mostly Ghostly, Eight Spooky Tales to Chill Your Bones. Um, and I think it was a little bit older. I was actually surprised. Yeah. 91? Yeah, 91. I thought this was going to be like early 2000s, but mm -hmm. it is a little bit older. And um, it was from Toys R Us. So that's how you know it was definitely wow. a little bit older. No Toys R Us here anymore. Um, and it has some spooky stories and spooky illustrations inside. It would be fun to read fun. Some of these stories. It's a really big book. Yeah, it is a big book. <laughs> Not in pages, but in size. In size, yeah. <laughs> a pretty interesting find. We found this ghost party, Keep on Running, The Ghost is Coming board game. I've never seen this board game before, and um, I was very excited to find it. It's uh, dated 1992, and it was taped at the library book sale, so I didn't open it up. But I could hear things rattling, so I was hoping that all the pieces were there. Because if you look, it shows like, it's like a little ghost. I'm very excited to see that little ghost. <laughs> well, guess what? The oh, ghost no. isn't in there. Ah. The ghost isn't in there. So of course. that's a little disappointing, but I'm going to show you guys the, um, the board. So here is the board. It's pretty detailed, pretty yeah. cool looking. I haven't read the instructions, so I don't know exactly how you play, but um, it looks pretty cool. I will have to do some digging, see if I can get some replacement pieces, maybe. Um, I haven't even looked it up. I don't even know if it's worth replacing or if I should just buy a whole new board game. But uh, pretty cool find. We don't really find like spooky board games or spooky games all that much. The last one I can think of is the um, I Want to Bite Your Finger, the Dracula game that we found what, like two years ago yeah. now. Mm -hmm. um, so we always do kind of look out for those vintage like spooky spooky mm -hmm. uh board games because so you can come across them once in a while and they do tend to be profitable as well yeah most of the spooky board games are flippable for sure mm -hmm. and yeah like you said Jean, they it didn't make too many of them no well you know that's something they should come back with so here are some of the other books that we picked up this was cool Lori. you found a masters of the universe book yeah. This was definitely one of the cooler finds as well. Um, this is the Wicked Wicked Ladies in the Haunted House. And it is copyright 1968, first printing 1971. So definitely an older book. They did have a whole section of like antique books. That section more focused, I think, more on the antique books, more collectible books. Um, I'm glad they didn't put this one in there because we might have not been able to find it. One book that we did find in that antique section was this one. I've always kept my eye out trying to find hard vintage or antique hardcover books with like spider web motif or spooky motifs on the front. And this one was there. I was very surprised. Um, it is, what does it say, Laura? It says The Canary Murder Case. I know nothing about the book. So if any of you have read this, or if it's your favorite book, let us know. Uh, I thought it was interesting because it's also from 1930 something, I believe. Wow. Actually, it says 1927. Wow. It's coming so, up 100 years old. Very cool, right? That's uh, fun to display uh, for yeah, Halloween. A great look for Halloween. A great look if you just like that kind of like, you know, spooky, macabre kind of look. I picked up a snowflake fell poems about winter. <laughs> I 
I, we filmed this a few times now. I can't get, <laughs> I can't say this title. I don't know why. Um, this is really cool. It is actually signed by Laura Whipple, who compiled all of the poems. I'm trying to say this because I kept messing up every single word. Um, <laughs> I mean, you called her completely different. I called a completely different name. Um, <laughs> Laura Whipple compiled all of the poems for this book, and this book is signed by her. So very cool to have found it. Usually when we find a Magic School Bus book, it's just like a soft cover, um, reprint, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. But this one is actually a hardcover with a dust jacket, and when I opened it up, it's actually a first printing, first classic printing. And to me, obviously growing up watching and reading Magic School Bus, it just struck a chord. I thought it was so cool. So I had to pick it up. I found a few children's soft cover Halloween books. Nothing too wild, but you know, things that we've actually come across before, like the teeny tiny ghost. And um, what was this? There was an old lady who lived in a show. No, there was a little <laughs> old lady who it was not afraid of anything. Yeah. That's um, one of my favorites. Yeah, these are Janine really love. And I also found um, Halloweeny, which I of course had to pick up. Um, but what I was really excited to find was this Penny Whistle Halloween book. It's from 1989 and it's like a children's activity Halloween party book. It has a bunch of, you know, um, games to play and crafts to do for a Halloween party. And I just love the illustrations. It's like the modern day Denison book. And uh, Janine and I have been really into finding these like Halloween activity books from the 80s and 90s or even earlier um, cause they just have such great cute little illustrations and um, so many great ideas for different crafts to do. Who knows, maybe we'll have a Halloween crafting party at one point. I think 2024 is the year of um, Shiny Bright Doggo parties. <laughs> I feel festive um, and this book definitely helps. So I thought this was a great find. Love it, love it, love it. Um, but I think we picked up a lot of really fun finds today. Janine even found a board game, which is really cool. St. Patrick's Day is actually this weekend. So if you are celebrating, we hope you have a good one. And it also may be our first trash picking weekend of the year. Keep your fingers crossed. We're really hopeful for a good pick. So excited. Thank you guys so much for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.